What's up you guys? Welcome back to my vlog. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. I can't get fooled again. Welcome back to the vlog you guys. It has been a hectic couple of weeks. Okay, my AC just turned on, so sorry if the sound changes. It's been hectic, you guys. We are now back though, and we're better than ever. We wrapped up Juliet's birthday, so we now are vlogging with an eight-year-old, you guys. Eight years old. Crazy, like it's so mind-blowing when I think about it. On top of that, the week after her birthday, we're just gonna obviously jump right back into vlogging like we have been, and my baby got sick again, you guys, again. I know, I'm taking her to the doctor, everything's fine. I'll update you guys when I have answers, but yeah. But she's finally in those last days of her cold. Maybe you guys might hear it throughout the vlog, but she still kind of does have a little bit of a cough, but overall, how are you feeling? Good. Good? So, with that being said, Juliet obviously is eight years old now. The next grade that she's going to is third grade, you guys. Back to school is coming up. You know what that means back to school shopping. So we just finished up obviously shopping for her birthday, she got a bunch of stuff, but now it's back to school clothes shopping and we chose to go with Pat Pat. If you guys don't know what Pat Pat is, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it while Juliet shows you some of her favorite outfits that we got from Pat Pat this week. Pat Pat is a global kids clothing brand created especially for families. I'm talking $4.99 for tees, leggings, $6.99 for joggers and pants. Pat Pat has stuff for every single day of the week. As you guys can see, Juliet Juliet is showing off her cute little outfits. She picked out this stuff herself, you guys, and she is so excited for the first week of school to wear everything. Pat Pat has a wide range of styles from tops and bottoms to sets and accessories. Plus, they have way more back to school steals. Right now, you guys can shop now for the selected items for up to 80% off. There's no need to go to any other website or any other store for anything, you guys. Pat Pat literally has everything that you need. I even got Juliet this cute little lunch pack right here for her cold lunch whenever she goes to school with it. And they have so much more to choose from. I'm talking shoes, backpacks, clothes, accessories, everything for an amazing price, you guys. Go to Pat Pat. It's the first link that you see down below inside the description. Click that, and again, here's my code right here on the screen for an extra 15% off your guys' purchase. Everything looks so freaking good, and I love the quality that everything came in. Okay, so already, baby, what is this outfit? Tell me about it. What do you love about it? <laughs> you look so cute. I love it. About the shirt that there's hearts on it, and this, and um, what I love about this shirt, and it looks like a Wednesday shirt. A Wednesday skirt. skirt? <laughs> she also has this sh uh, shirt in another color too. What other color do you have it in? Uh, pink. Mm-hmm. So this is an outfit Juliet put together this morning. Looks really, really cute. What day do you think you're gonna wear this on? Wednesday. <laughs> I was hoping you were gonna say that. So, are you ready to show them another outfit? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love that sweater, and they have so many more of these, you guys. Super freaking cute. Love these jeans, and we love these jeans so much that we got them in another mm -hmm. color, huh? Mm -hmm. These are so cute. Like, look at the star detail on this, you guys. I love it so freaking much. We also got another one of those cute skirts that she was wearing in the first outfit. Do you want to show them that one? Okay, so go change into the skirt and then we'll rate that outfit. Okay, so we got the same sweater on, but look at this cute skirt. Oh my God, I love it. And for my mamas out there who are just like me, these have built-in shorts, you guys, so you have nothing to worry about. To my moms out there who are just like me, built-in shorts on both of the skirts, so love that so much. So like I said, you guys can use our code right here on the screen if you wanna shop Pat Pat too. It's a lifesaver, especially during this time right now, you guys. Do not wait, take advantage of all of their sales. Click the first link that you see down below inside the description right now and go shopping for all of your kids back to school needs. Now, let's jump back into the vlog. Guys, we're upstairs now. I'm not even gonna lie, we tried to vlog yesterday, or I did, I started the vlog yesterday. Um, when Devonte was home and it was a good vlog whatever, but it was just kind of all over the place So we'll get into that in a minute, but yeah to get in these past couple of weeks you guys like We had Juliet's birthday party. You guys know how stressed out I was about it, but we did it. It was good It turned out so freaking great. Everyone had an amazing time. This is us singing happy birthday to Juliet One, one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, to you. Happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday to my princess. Happy birthday to you. That was literally the only clip that I caught from that day. Like I said, I wasn't planning on like recording a whole bunch anyways. I got a bunch of pictures, but recording wise, I was just like, no, it's just gonna be family time. So either way, she had an, or did you have an amazing time? I'm over here speaking for you. You did? You loved it? Shortly after that, Juliet ended up getting a stomach bug again. You guys know this has been happening for years, like literally since she was a baby, since I moved in with Devante this has been happening. Is this normal for any of you moms out there, For especially if you have multiple kids, please tell me, help me. Like, is this normal? Do your guys' kids get sick multiple times in a month with like this really, really nasty cough, like phlegmy cough, and then the stomach bug where they won't even eat for a couple of days because they just feel so sick? Like, does this also happen to you guys? And if it does, please let me know down below inside the comments. Um, but yeah, and so after she got that stomach bug, we kind of just waited it out. Um, like I said earlier, she still kind of does have a little bit of a cough, um, which is okay, but she has no fever anymore. Stomach bug is gone. She's eating again, which is so good. It makes me happy. So then comes along us trying to pick up the vlog yesterday. Devante was home. It was his day off from the academy, one of his days off from the academy. And you guys will hear more about that inside the vlog and and you guys will see his haircut that he has to get for the academy. Let's see what we were talking about yesterday. Hello guys, welcome hey, back. Oh my God, welcome back to my channel. We have a lot to do today, you guys. Actually, no, we don't. We have a little bit of things to do, but one of the main things is going to the grocery store. We gotta re-up on groceries for the week. Devonte's home, it's his day off. He's officially two weeks into his police academy, and you guys, my he has something to reveal. Let's see. <gasps> Beautiful so man. Look at my bald head. You're not bald, so. Uh-uh, now your pinky getting ready to peek out of your shoe. <laughs> you know you, you can untuck that? So they made you, okay, tell them. I'll just say, okay, tell them. Yeah, so a requirement inside of the police academy is that you shave your head. Yeah. And um, the reason for that is because it's paramilitary base and uh, they want to get you out of your comfort zone because yeah. there's no way that you can serve your community while also not being um, comfortable. So yeah. we want to be uncomfortable. So they made him get that cut. I think it looks fine. We were, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I was a little bit scared. I had told him like, I don't even want to look at you, Dude, come home with a beanie me because- so many hairstyles. They've seen me with my curly hair. I've gone blonde, I've gone like freaking like orange, I've gone like freaking, Just well, it wasn't totally orange, down. it was like a light brown or something. Yeah. I cut it down. Now you guys see me like freaking bald. Next. You're not bald, stop saying that. Okay. Anyways, let's jump into the vlog. Let's go grocery shopping and get stuff that we need for the week. Okay guys, so we're in the car. I was gonna grab a quick coffee real quick before we head out to the grocery store. Um, but there's been a quick change of plans. You wanna tell them? You can tell them. He's so sassy, like what the fuck? <laughs> so we're hungry, we're hungry you guys. So we're gonna be going to Sakura, Sakura Chaya. Yeah, I didn't tell Jules. We're gonna go to Sakura Chaya right now and eat some teppanyaki. Look, it's lunchtime, okay? I'm fasting right now, you guys. So it's been, I haven't ate, oh shit. I did eat late last night. Okay, I did break my fast last night. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. But it's okay because I did five days in a row, okay? 16 hour fastings. So anyways, the last time I ate was like, dude, eight o'clock, nine o'clock last night. So can you tell us about the story about OK Baby? OK Baby? Yeah, what happened with that? I seen like a TikTok where she got with like her best friends like. Dude, oh. you need to go get checked out by a doctor because what are you talking about right now? I'm over here talking about me fasting. Oh, I just hella spit. And you're like, dude, tell me about OK Baby. What are you talking about? That's crazy, dude. What's crazy? I went on her Instagram this morning. She's all posted up with her mans and stuff. and like, Her new dude? Yeah. It was her Ooh. best friends. No, it was her ex, her exes, her baby daddy, Oscar. It was his best friend. And, and, and she was best friends with his girl. The, the guy that she's with right now? Yeah. yeah crazy. crazy. We've been going to Sakura Chaya for like, what, seven years now? Ever since I met you. So it was crazy. our 
second date. <coughs> yeah, it was our second date. It has been going to Sakura Chai since she was one years old. Yeah. It is insane. Hi. But, um, oh. you just want to show off because you look good. Good game, Oh my god. What's back there? I don't know. What's Okay, um, so, but anyways, I'm still getting my coffee because I'm already getting the caffeine headache. Like, I can't do this. So I'm going to grab a quick coffee and we'll see you guys at Sakura. So for this part of the vlog, I decided to actually just film a voiceover for you guys because after watching this clip that I recorded there, it is so loud and I didn't realize because the air vents above the Sakura Chaya like stoves makes it like insanely loud but yeah this is our food we got some chicken and the chicken and steak combo with the fried rice you guys if you live in Fresno or Clovis go try out Sakura it is so good I promise you will not regret it it is better than any teppanyaki place in Fresno all right guys so we just made it to Walmart right now we are extremely full and like Anicia said it was a very good idea to come grocery shopping after we ate because we have this tendency to where we'll like uh, buy stuff out of like a whim or whatever we're because we're hungry. So Anisia is doing this thing where we are scanning and going. Mm -hmm. So um, we do through app. Uh uh, -uh. no sorry, free sorry. uh uh no, no free promo. But I just can't get over the simple fact that Julia is wearing a 2010 snapback. Don't do that. She uh, looks so cute. Her, look at her fit. Period. Snapbacks and tattoos. Snapbacks and tattoos. <laughs> Jules, jerk, jerk. You guys better not make fun of my bald head, dude. Come on now. <laughs> okay, guys. Back to current day. I am currently waiting on Devonte to get home. He's on his way home. I'm gonna make some cookies. Um, I try to make cookies, chocolate chip, girl, chocolate chip only. I try to make cookies every week to have inside the house because I don't know. I just feel like that's like the motherly thing to do, right? It's just to have some freshly baked cookies. I don't know. Anyways, I wish I could be like cute about it and be like, oh yeah, they're homemade, like flour, brown sugar, egg, and this and that. Girl, no. Right now, we're waiting on Devontae to get back home. He is on his way. You guys, he's so freaking sweet. He knows how exhausted I've been lately. He told me, do not worry about dinner tonight, and he's going to pick us up some Chipotle because we still got to keep it healthy. You know what I mean? Um, even though we just ate at Sakura. Ooh, that's hypocritical. Um, when he gets back from Chipotle, I want to ask him some questions that we're all wondering about his academy and get a little update on it. I know, obviously, just from like living with him that it's been crazy balls. So I'm excited for you guys to like hear a little bit about it and have him just talk about it. He like lights up whenever he talks about the academy. So I think it's just like, it's going to be cool to, to see him talk about it. So whenever he gets back from bringing us our food, we'll ask him some questions. Okay guys, so I'm back on my bed. Devonte's back home. He brought us our Chipotle. We just finished eating right now. We still literally have chips and guac and the other half of his burrito on the bed. There, sire. This is the best life ever. <laughs> He's back home and I told you guys I would answer, or I would answer, I would ask him some questions about what's been going on. Like I said, it's Monday, <coughs> the beginning of his third week in the academy. How are you feeling? Gosh. You look different. <laughs> what do you mean I look different? Your face got darker. <laughs> yeah, dude, we're like in the sun. It is so stressful. Like, it is beyond freaking stressful. My recommendation for anyone who's anticipating on going to the police academy is do high intensity workouts. That means running, core workouts. Months before. Body weights and st body workouts and stuff like that. Like, if you personally think, like, oh, like, you know. My specific body type, I can do it. I can get through it without. <laughs> Dude, I said the same exact thing and I literally suffered. But, you know, it's getting a lot better. Uh, our PT sessions are getting a little bit easier, but they're still really challenging. Um, it's just very stressful because we have a lot of equipment that we're responsible for every single day. And we can't keep that stuff oh inside God, of our car. Yeah. So, like, even today, I freaking forgot my pants. So I had to drive all the way back home, like, before class started like in a hurry because had I not had my pants 
Like, tell, oh my God, tell them. it would have been bad. So the other day, um, <coughs> he, it, well, not the other day, last week, he came home and he couldn't find his tie. Like after the academy, he was oh like trying to get his gosh. stuff ready the night before and he couldn't find his tie. So they have PT gear and then they also have their like full uniform outfits that <sighs> they all have to wear. It's not something that's like, oh, you know, make sure you guys have this or whatever and they're not going to pay attention. No, you absolutely have to have the same goddamn crease in your pants as the other 49 <coughs> people in that class. And so basically, Devante couldn't find his tie. We went to like two different stores. Yeah, like two different stores trying to find a similar tie. But we couldn't find it because yeah. they only sell it's that tie, tie at the uniform place but that place had been closed it was already like nine o'clock at night so Devonte was like freaking out and basically tell them what happened next day in class oh my gosh dude the inst one of the instructors and when we're on formation he holds the tie up and the he's one like, that he lost yeah and he's like who's you know i'm just gonna put it in like uh uh <laughs> youtube uh monetization terms he <laughs> said he was like whose tie is this and, like, obviously I raised my hand because I knew in my mind that I couldn't find my tie. Needless to say, I, de I paid for that that <laughs> day. So, um, it's just, it, it, they really instill, like, um... Not just you paid for it. Everyone yeah, had to pay for it because for of you. It. That's the whole point. They want to uh, create animosity amongst each other to see how the class uh, gets through it. They want to see if you guys are able to fight through you know, animosity. If one person messes up, then you, you all mess up. So they want to see how you guys, um, you know, come together and overcome that. And it's not like, I know some of you guys may be thinking like, okay, he just, he forgot his tire. <coughs> he, he wore the wrong tie. Like, what's the big deal? He didn't like, did he get yelled at? Like, it is a huge deal. It is not like something they don't like try to be like, okay, it's okay. Just bring it tomorrow. Devonte. Like, no, everyone, no. <laughs> everyone has to be like, they have to, you all have to be in the same uniform. There's no ex, ex, exceptions. You all have to have the same stuff, same uniform. I mean, you could have like different pairs of boots or something like that, or you know, but you all have to be in the same uniform. And if you're not, then it's pretty bad. So, so but needless to say, are you having fun? <laughs> are you having I'm fun? <laughs> are we gonna bring Tell the vlog? Everything. To, are we gonna bring the vlog to your graduation? Yeah. To your badging ceremony? Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be fun. Wonder who's gonna badge you. My mom. Your mom? <laughs> so there's a little update for you guys. It's so weird because I feel like everything is changing. Like, Juliet turned eight years old. <coughs> She's going into third grade. Devante is like literally in the police academy to become a police officer. Yeah. What he's always wanted to do. It's a whole different routine in the house. It's not like a reg our regular everyday routine. Like I'm getting up super early in the morning to pack him his lunch. Otherwise he, <coughs> he won't eat. They won't let him leave. On top of that, I'm being actually this time actually consistent with YouTube. So I'm vlogging all the time and making sure I'm on top of like content going up every day and everything just feels so different. Like everything's changing. And then on top of that, once Jules starts school in a month, then we'll have to get used to that whole routine and it's going to be good. Like everything's going to be good. I love it. I love that everything's changing, but it sometimes it, it is a lot. Um, but I'm taking it day by day. So we're going to wrap up this vlog. You guys, we love you guys <coughs> so much and we will see you guys in another vlog. Deuces. Fool me once, shame on you. Mm -hmm. Fool me twice.